So when we're looking at astrocartography, um, and like, let's just say you want to know what places you should live. I personally mm -hmm. always recommend your Venus line and your Jupiter line. Those are usually okay. from what I've experienced the best places to be. Um, I've personally okay. been traveling to those places for this last year just to like okay. test the energy and track things. So mm -hmm. the biggest thing here is you can go anywhere you want. You don't have to go somewhere just because you have lines there. Right. You can go wherever feels great to you. But mm -hmm. I would also recommend just checking the energy and seeing kind of, oh, okay, this is what's available. This is what I can think about and watch out for, right? So yeah. um, where you're at right now, mm. right here, right? Are you in Winnipeg right now? No, I live in Oregon. So let's see, I'm, I'm over um yeah i'm on the west coast now so you want to say medford oregon just to give it a little bit more specifics <clears throat> probably down i didn't know there was so many medfords yeah that's the one yep medford oregon perfect cool so this is relocation astrology like we're just taking your birth chart and then taking the birth time and date and then changing the mm -hmm. location to see where see. where you are now how it will be good for you i see so currently so what you do is you just when you go to this site you just click on this line and you can click uh -huh. on any of the lines that are within like a state or two amazing and that will tell you what it means so for this one neptune line i was on my neptune line last week and it was cool um nice i feel relaxed and easy yes this is very true yep so neptune line is very very chill um secretive it, and mysterious it's yes. an and hard to get a hold of reality all true <laughs> also why i need to change this behavior because i'm supposed to be emerging this is so powerful. Yes. Yeah. It, it's really, really good. Um, so you were thinking to move where? To Austin. So it looks like there's no lines there. <laughs> so it's always the ones that are close. So it'd be the, yeah. So for the you, it'd be some line. Back. Yeah, some line's going to be closer, it looks like, to me. Mm -hmm. some lines one of the best lines also um especially for being seen aha uh -huh. amazing help to find my goals that's exactly what i want to do right now perfect yay okay this is the best news ever <laughs> <laughs> amazing it says the best places for career advancement this is what i'm like emerging from the forest to do right now <laughs> Literally, <laughs> on wow. the flip side, if you're closer to Albuquerque, it's still good to know this, but this is just Saturn. It just helps you with your Same. goals. Wow, I'll be like flanked by both things for social and professional ambitions. Literally. Dope. So I'd give a strong yes to go because that's what you're Yay. looking for, right? <laughs> yes. Cool. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, go for it. Big time. Um, the sunlight is right. really going to help you most. Incredible. Yep. All right. Okay. So I feel like this was one of the primary affirmations that I needed from this, but your expertise in all the micro things that you shared, when to talk, how to, how, like all that is so juicy, delicious. Like, I can feel your expertise and I love the way that you share it. I love just like your subtle, gentle ways of just making it accessible for people. Like many compliments to you for real. Oh, dude. Thank you so much. I'm trying my best. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I love your energy and I love how you're getting your mastery and you're just applying it with your own flair. Like that is sincerely a gift. Yeah. Thank you. I'm excited to share it with as many people as possible who want it, I should say. Yeah. So tell me about like different formats that you offer kind of regular uh, work with, because you know, I was curious about you because you had just such passion and enthusiasm in your post. And I knew that you were really diving through something that you cared about. But now let's see like how micro focus you can get with the knowledge that you're sharing, like it definitely opens my ears to like where, where we could go from here. Like what kind of things do you offer for an extended for sure. period? So I do offer coaching specifically. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think the biggest benefit of that is that we talk every day if, if you want to. Mm -hmm. And I have some clients that we talk every day, other clients we talk like once a week. But essentially the coaching, I would help you with your social media and building your social media platforms. And that would, mm -hmm. be, um, that would be the one of the focuses that we could chip at. And then also just mm -hmm. like, I work a lot with mindset and creative consulting so making sure mm -hmm. that people have the information that they need to make the post set up the post mm -hmm. feel confident with it be able to bust out four to six a day i can help mm -hmm. you with the mindset just by giving you the video templates that you need to make and then mm -hmm. we'll go over in our sessions how to like word it to get the most attention and then from there we'll i'll start to teach you how to convert those 10 second videos into mm -hmm. either a coaching, a reading program or something, I'll adjust your prices too, to reflect mm -hmm. your goals. So if we wanna make, for example, 6,000 US a month, I would say, okay, let's you know build a strategy of, do we wanna promote and sell our readings for 150 or 300 or 50, and then look at how many readings you wanna do a month, because I'm really more, concerned about you running your business in alignment with your own energy so mm -hmm. what we'll do is strategize on how, how much do you really want to work and how much do you want to earn right. and then how much do you need to market because marketing I feel is usually 25 percent of what should be going mm -hmm. in because the more people that are aware of what you could do and then like for me there's a lot that I know that I don't share every single post but when someone right. has a meeting like this with me and asks me specific questions, I can go there. Yeah. So I want to, yeah. that's true for a lot of people. So I'm, I would like to bring that into your business as well um, with the yeah. strategies that I have. Interesting. You know, like, I feel like some kind of hybrid energy about what you're talking about, because part of what I'm coming into realizing is <clears throat> I love the entire planet i love all of humanity but i also find myself coming into reminders that i'm more in service to the leaders and i'm like teaching the teachers more often and so sometimes i'll be like speaking to the masses at, because that's where my heart is my heart is wanting to connect with them but then at the end of the day i keep getting these kind of course corrections where it's like yes but you are kind of directed to this uh, focused community. And then on top of that, I also have all this history of business expertise myself. So then I usually end up advising the business and I kind of like get disconnected from the human component. Mm. My heart is all in the human, though my expertise is all in the business. Mm. So then I get stuck doing some of the things like you're saying, where I'm like doing the marketing for somebody or I'm doing this. And it's like, I do it cause I'm good at it. But at the end of the day, my heart isn't satisfied. So when you said following what works with my energy, I'm like, okay, yeah. Like I need to really authorize more of that and less of just going at what I can do, you know? Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> So, so I think you could definitely give insight as that there as well. Yeah, I, I do coach for 30 day intervals. I do also offer group coachings. Um, the 
group coaching is two days. The 30 day coaching is for those four weeks. And essentially what we do is build you out a plan, a business plan, but it's, mm -hmm. it's, I call it a law of assumption action plan. So okay. I'll show you an example of one that I did with a client recently. Um, just so we can like build out an idea of what we want to do for you. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. law of assumption is we're assuming and we're, we're presuming that we already finished what we're trying to accomplish. So we write it in the mm -hmm. past tense and then I mm -hmm. attach a house to it, for example. So I was able to become the best version of myself by focusing on my health, eating well, vitamin intake, spiritual meditation, and then everything else that would be required for that to happen, all based on the sixth house. And then mm -hmm. we align it with how. The biggest thing is when you have an end goal, which you're, the desire part of this, this top part is your end mm -hmm. goal. What I'm mm -hmm. hoping to do is get you to the bottom of this list where it says, how do you measure your progress? Because the more mm -hmm. we the more we say, okay, this is my objective, this is where I'm at, we can start to get closer and fill that space. When you do uh -huh. a law of assumption action plan, the difference between a business plan is that you're saying what you're going to do. Law of assumption yeah. says you already did it. So now right. you internalize it and you trap that feeling. And once you trap that feeling, now it allows you to step into that specific vibration by choice and stay there sometimes when mm. we use the i am sometimes when we use the business plan there's still some doubt because we haven't accomplished it yet in our head so this mm -hmm. is it's my way of gaslighting myself into success <laughs> i love that is that a post i love this gaslight yes. yourself into success yes <laughs> I figure, it, I figure it's possible because if you can gaslight into trauma, you can gaslight into other things, I feel like, right? I love this topic so much. I think it's freaking riot. I love it. <laughs> so we would use this plan uh, to create uh, basically your whole coaching program. Everyone's very different. So what I do every week is I pull this up and you know I start to ask myself, like, what can I create with you to, uh, to hit number one i'm looking at mm -hmm. what are your money goals what are your plans with yourself what do you think is going to be important and we go from there right mm -hmm. um, and then every week i look at your astrology i look at your business and just advise you the biggest thing is i need you to just post four to six times a day just to practice mm -hmm. once right. you do it for 21 days straight with me you'll be so good at marketing your business. I would say the, I do have a lot of knowledge and resources as a business owner too, but I would say the marketing side, I'm, I've trained myself to be so comfortable with it. Whether I look good, feel good, feel sick, feel anxiety, feel nervous about launching something I've never launched, or I say something in a video and I mess it up and I still post it. I just want you to get comfortable with expressing, I have something of value here for you that can help you. And I want you to get good at saying that four to six times a day. You know what I have identified as my core problem is that <clears throat> I love speaking. Uh, I, I feel the energy when I'm speaking, like I'm speaking to a lot of people, but I think for TikTok, it really needs to like tighten up to where it feels like I'm talking to one person. The this person is just front, something yeah. that I've, exactly. I think this is where I need to shift my energy because my energy is always just like talking to like the energy is like, okay, whoever catches this. And I'm like throwing the energy out as though it's a big audience. And I think that's where I'm missing the opportunity for TikTok because when you feel like you're talking to your close friend or you're talking to somebody um, directly, I think that's where I need to like shift my energy. Or at least I've intuited that. No, that's genius. <laughs> right um 
and I've also tried this style before. I tried it a lot last year, um, where you yeah. be, where you become your audience's bestie. There is, I would say, a boundary issue with this sometimes, but uh-huh. because I've I've done it, I can definitely advise you in this style. When people feel like they're your best friend, they want favors, especially if you've already communicated that you're a nice, giving person. So we just gotta I've- have. We got to have boundaries because when I was bestie last year, more so, I would have everyone wanted to send me their chart and say, tell me about this, you know, no questions. Right. Just just talk to me and about I myself. The, yeah, I blurred it. I see. OK. So yeah, interesting. So Ooh. when we do that, when we do that, we have to have very strong boundaries, very strong boundaries because people will test you because you're their friend, right? Mm -hmm. So they'll want to push their limits and see how much they can get from you. I would just advise, it's not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing because it helps you figure out where your boundaries are with yourself faster. Right, totally. I'm having a very intra-dimensional conversation with you. It's like, I hear the words coming out of your mouth, but we're also really great at orienting on like other levels. Like I can hear you talking to me with your words and and you do it really elegantly but i also feel like um we have a really comfortable energy interdimensionally where it's like yeah like we're yeah i think that there's going to be something really profound here because this doesn't always happen to me sometimes i'll be hanging out with somebody's higher self and i'll just feel like it, it'll be like a a business consultation it'll be like really kind of you know, stifling energy, but for you, you have really comfortable energy. Like you, you are comfortable on all these interdimensionals that, that you are just having a conversation with an old friend there as well, you know? Facts. And that that's feels how really it feels. Good. Our nodes yeah. are, our nodes are conjunct. So yeah, yeah, that was what I was speaking on earlier. Like I said, I've only yeah. met like a couple other people who have, I only know specifically of a couple people who have that with me yeah yeah it's it's really powerful because that means that we can get some serious business done and have a totally casual good time while we're doing it (laughs) literally i love it true 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 so that the the 30-day coaching i've been doing it for five 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 i wanted to let you know um okay 555 for um i have a lot of clients right now so I'm like trying to make sure I don't overwhelm myself. Um, and this yeah. is something I'll obviously teach you too, because it's important to strategize. But um, would you like like 60 days, 30 days, or two days? What feels more in alignment with you? And then I'll just tell you the price. Um, because I don't want to like make an intuitive decision based on money what would what could i send you just for this week so we could start the ball rolling with this week and then i can just magnetize more money so that we can keep saying yes yeah so we could do um i usually do like one 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 to two 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 for that so if you wanted to do like an hour we could do that for one 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 if you wanted to do two hours we could do two 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 uh Let's do one uh, to start because, yeah, I feel like that'd be really, really simple. Lit. Yeah, some okay. some of my clients, we do um, one, 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 one every week and then we meet for 30 minutes and then we just talk business and strategy. Yeah, I love it. Cool. Um, yeah, let's do that. I'll send you the calendar. I'm opening up my calendar slowly um, because there was a, I made a post and luckily I pushed all my readings into two days so I didn't get overwhelmed. Good job. (laughs) It was an intuitive (laughs) thing. Last year, I did a real big self-care. Yeah, I'm Uh trying trying to hire people because yeah, it's the workload's insane, Um, but I, I don't hear for it. Okay. Be ready to scale, man. You got to be ready. You hire the help before you need them because then you can scale comfortably. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. 
Facts. <laughs> okay. Can I do the payment on your calendar too, or should I just? Wait, what was that? Can I do the payment through your calendar as well, or do I go like send me the link payment link as well? Yeah, it'll pop into there. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I have a lot of Capricorn in my chart. My lesson this lifetime is to be organized. So I was like, let me do that before I'm 30. And then I'll just get better. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was like, if I can do that before I'm 30, I should be all right. <laughs> I hope. That's my hope. I'm really wishing. Okay. So here's the link. And it says it has a nice long list of like things that I can do. Obviously, I just showed you some of the cool things too, but there's a yeah. lot of things I use astrology for. It's really the better the question, the deeper I can go. Yeah. And with well, the added benefit of uh, asteroids, we can look at a lot of things. That's incredible. I think that I like that we kind of flowed intuitively through through this call. I love that you kind of still kept your focus of um, the most clear benefits that you can give throughout it. Sometimes I kind of will get very etheric. I'll turn into an etheric blob and I'll lack structure. So um, if you need me to get specific, like I'm giving you permission to just be like, Hey, let's stay focused because yeah, I can etheric blob into an ocean and then we'll like get lost. So, um, I I'd, I'd love for us to, you, you please remind me, like, I won't take it personally. Yeah. No, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely have no issue doing it. I think it's important. Like nice. <laughs> very beautiful. Very. Cool. Okay, but let me see check that I got it. <clears throat> okay. I don't know. I don't think I have it right now. I, I have I, I can't. Uh, oh, perfect. <sighs> uh I'm just getting a message for this. Uh okay, hold on. All right. I got this link. Uh all right. Cool. Um, I'm going to take care of this right now. Cool. Amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. It Me just too. feels like, yeah, it feels like we're going to get up to some good stuff. And I love your energy and your expertise. I really, really appreciate you. I'm excited. And I feel the same about you. I'm going to also open up my calendar so you can book a little bit sooner. Um, okay, great. My calendar is really tight right now. Um, Okay. Do Tuesdays or Fridays work better for you? Or Saturdays? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Cool. Okay, let me just get in here. Uh, yeah, let me... I, I have a, like, mini work crisis is coming up in my chat right now, so I'm a little distracted. You're good. So why don't we just keep the energy flowing and I'll take your Thursday if that's all right. Go for it. All right, cool. I'll put this in right now. Um, amazing. Uh, cool. So I'll see you on Thursday and I'll, I'll make it my best effort to uh, get some better direct questions together for you. <laughs> Oh, you had some great ones today. Um, we're definitely gonna expand on them. What's your best email, real quick? What use my uh name email? So a l n a a v i e l at gmail. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got you. <laughs> I have so many emails. <laughs> You're good. A L A N A. 
a v i e l at gmail cool okay i'll send you this um document too real quick for the law of assumption so you can get it started um and then we'll we'll tackle in the first part of the meeting next week or this week okay perfect Amazing. I'm going to take care of this. I'm li literally just doing my PayPal right now and also getting some messages from one of my clients. You're good. But yeah, a beautiful way to start the day with you. Thank you so much. 100%. Same with you. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, talk soon. Bye.